What is going on YouTube? One only extra. I'm here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're doing something really fun because Cody here, ram. Hello. He's got a drone and a drone that's going to follow. It's going to be a lot of fun because I've gotten requests for a review, a one year review of this beautiful Aprilia RS4 1100 factory. Oh my God. He's making so much noise in the background. My bad. <laughs> Just kidding. So we're going to try to get a flyby. I forgot some stuff, so we'll see how the audio is, but I think it'll be okay. And you guys are going to enjoy this. So stick around. That's <laughs> after a year of owning this bike. What do I love about it? Well, <laughs> as you just saw just then, ah, God, this thing just takes off and goes. Ah, it's so good. The acceleration is instantaneous and brutal, and not, uh, I don't want to say super brutal, but it's definitely intense. I like it. After a year of ownership of this motorcycle, you know, you obviously saw me rip. This thing is very, very fast. But what have I noticed? What do I love so far? It's really the handling. It's such a tame feeling bike. The suspension is so compliant. The front end, I can't explain to you enough. Like you have to experience it. the front end is so planted. There, it doesn't jostle, it doesn't give you any weird feedback. It tells you exactly what you need to know through the handlebars. Oh, God, the suspension on this motorcycle is phenomenal. The chassis is so sorted out, so solid, that over bumpy things, it deals with it. Over smooth tarmac, it loves it. You know, for a bike that doesn't have electronic suspension, and I haven't even adjusted this. I haven't even set it up for me as a rider straight out of the box to a year later man is it solid the quick shifter auto blipper so freaking smooth once you get used to how easy it is to change gears it's so good you know after a year of riding this i'm very confident in being on this and, and kind of dealing with it at speed you know it doesn't do anything that might freak you out you know the ducati is really harsh in comparison to this the brakes you know for this motorcycle is insanely good they got such a good bite initially and it's got a very very solid progressive feel to it ah, i love brakes i feel like this you know earlier in my videos when i first reviewed this bike or really any of the rs 4 models the problem i had were the rear sets being so high up and it feeling cramped after a year right you get used to it and it's actually rather comfortable. It seats rather well. Yeah, you're definitely aggressive, but oh, I've grown to really enjoy how this motorcycle feels. And I've explained to other people, you know, I like bikes that feel raw, well, that give you a ton of feedback, give you a lot of different sensations and not just speed. You know, a lot of bikes are very fast, all well, this included, but it also gives you one of the most beautiful exhaust notes, especially now that it's got the full titanium acro exhaust on it. Now this motorcycle again has a full acro exhaust, but also has the Aprilia Racing ECU tune in it. And I tell you what, the difference between factory and what this now has that's pretty noticeable. I wouldn't say night and day, but it's pretty noticeable. There's no real lull in the throttle and in the engine pickup. It's you twist throttle, you go. You know, and I'm always running around in track mode, so uh, the throttle response is very, very sharp. But it's not twitchy. You know, a lot of bikes once you put in race mode, it becomes very twitchy and agitated, and you almost need to put it back down to sport to kind of calm the throttle response down. This bike doesn't have that issue. All right, let's talk about these winglets for a second. Uh, do they work? I, I, you know what? I think they kind of do. 
Uh, if you notice, some of these roads that I'm on have some good elevation changes. Uh, has some flat spots that rise up to like uh, equivalent to a tabletop, if you will. And on the Ducati, that will wheelie like crazy. As you power up it, it'll definitely wheelie. On this machine, it actually doesn't wheelie all that much. And I know that it's not just electronics because on the dash, when your wheelie control kicks in, you get these little yellow lights. Well, on those moments, I actually don't get any yellow lights because the front wheel just lifts a tiny bit and then sets it back down. So I think those winglets do actually work and at certain speeds for sure, but they really help with keeping the front end down and planted a little bit better. And even when not going at the same speed, I'm talking like 80, 90 miles an hour, the front end just feels so damn good. I do ride this to and from work, not every day, but when the weather's nice and it's not gonna be 20 degrees at night, I ride it into work. And you know, around town, this isn't a bad bike uh, because it has just enough low end grunt to get you going and you know, stop and go traffic. And that's one thing with bikes like the Ducati, the new CBR 1000 RRSP, if they're top end bikes, you need to have them high on the revs to get them to scream. And this, yeah, it definitely likes being a higher revs for sure, but you don't need to be there. That kind of touches on the docile nature of this motorcycle. When you want it to be a calm, tame, ride around town type bike, it can do that. And that's what I've experienced over the past year is when I don't want to rip and scream, this bike's fine with it. My Ducati hated it. And I'm very curious about the 2020s with the electronic suspension. If they're really that much better, if there's a huge difference, or if honestly this particular suspension setup is you know, unrivaled, like there's nothing that can compete with it. It's just so good, man. I encourage you guys to try an RC4. If you can find one, if you find an RC4 1100 factory, absolutely try it like this. But I, I am honestly blown away by how good this motorcycle is. I let people ride it and they say the same thing. Like it's very tame. They expect it to be a fire breathing monster. And it is above like 6,000. But it's also very tame, lower than that. And they love to love the brakes because the brakes are just phenomenal. The nimbleness of this bike is surprising because it is a bigger bike, you know? It's got a little weight to it. It throws it around very easily. This bike isn't boring, you know? It's very fast and it has just enough character to keep you on your toes. It does everything very well, but it also relies on you to do really good inputs, braking, throttle, turning, all that stuff. You have to be good at those things and this bike will reward you more so than other bikes do. So as you can tell with this video, I'm definitely trying some new things. I have a buddy now, Cody, this flies a sweet FPV drone and I definitely plan on doing a lot more footage with that because, oh God, I hope you guys enjoy that because it's so freaking cool. I got some really, really awesome stuff planned with that with my bikes and with some special guests. So this is my one year review. This is an awesome 2019 RC4 1100 factory. I love it. You know, it's grown on me more and more and I'm gonna keep it around for a little while. The Ducati might be going away, but that's because it's gotta open up for some new things. So with that, hope you all have a good one. I'm out. Ha, 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 ha.